everyone, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this demonstration video I'm going to show you how to create your own wiring diagrams or connection labels. As you can see on my screen you will see a connection label that I've used for one type of relay, in this case Schnader Electric KM1 and connection labels are used to show various different information about the contacts, the origin and destination, um, wire number. You can show pretty much every single detail um, that belongs to that relay. There are various different ways of showing this information. Over here you can see I've used a tabulated connection label. However, I'm going to show you today how to create one for, for instance, this light H1. Now I'm going to place this again on the same drawing, but typically um, customers would create a new schematic with their wiring diagrams and you can see exactly where, what wire is connected to what component, how long it is and all the other information you want to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look how to do this. First of all, I'm going to create a new symbol. So we will go to the symbol manager up here and I'm going to select new. Give the symbol a name. Now I'm going to create a connection label for a light. So connection label. You can find all of these things here as well. And um, the description you can copy that from the symbol name. So I generally just copy the information over. However, the most important thing that you want to make sure of is that the symbol type is set to a connection label. And the classification is going to be unclassified. Now, once that's done, we simply click on OK. And next, we will open up a symbol and we can start off creating the actual symbol. First thing that I'd like to do is set up the snap and the grid. Turn them both on. Next let's create the light. Simply go to the drawing. I'm just going to create the light over here. Use a radius of 2.5. And we've got a basic symbol of our light created. Now the next thing that we can do or that we're going to do is add some attributes. So what information do we want to show to this connection label? Simply go to Edit Symbol tab, left click on Attributes Insertion, and for instance I'm interested here, Symbol Mark, Location, It Functions, and the Manufacturer Part and, and the Manufacturer Reference Number as well. Um, maybe set the justification to be in the middle and let's place that at the top here. Next we will add some more data as well. So we're going to add the data for the connection points over here on the left and the right side. So we go to attributes ins insertion, connection point. Now what information do I want to show for my connection points? I want to show the mark, the origin or the destination and the cross reference and let's show the wire mark as well and simply click on OK. It will ask me on what circuit do I want to associate that to so this is going to be zero which is going to be on the left hand side. Change the justification place it over here and we repeat the same thing 
for the symbols on the or for the circuit on the other side. And sometimes I recommend if you don't really know what all these descriptions are, simply just place them all, save it, and uh, reference them or place them on a schematic and see which information you need and which ones you don't need. This is going to be my terminal one now. And let's place the justification on the other side. Now, of course, we can um, simply change the color, the font size, etc. as well. So if we go here for tag, for instance, maybe I place that down here. Um, and if I double click that, I might even change the color to red and maybe the bit bigger. And you can do this for all of the components, of course. Now I'm simply going to close this and save. The last thing I'm going to do is associate the connection label to the actual light. So we simply go to the connection label tab, right click and we select insert. Now the default connection label comes up, the one that comes with SolidWorks Electrical. However, however we are going to other symbol and we go to the symbol we've just created. simply just place that on our drawing. You could see that the insertion point wasn't automatically um, added on the center of my mouse. So to fix this problem, I need to open up the symbol again. Left click insertion point place it in the middle of the light and simply save it out again. That way the next time you will insert the connection label it will automatically be on the center of your mouse. Now as you can see over here we've got the manufacturer's data, the description, the mark, the X1 and X2 are the terminal numbers of the light from KM1 contact 14 to terminal strip X1, terminal 5, and we've got a cross-reference information at the bottom as well. Thank you for watching, guys.